Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on testlink from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the test reports and metrics and metrics dashboard. So till now we have seen what all uh, functionality in terms of test management is available in testlink. Um, we have covered all of that. Then we have looked at some of the administration functionalities uh, that you can perform if you are the administrator of the test link as well in your organization and once um, the execution or the, you are done with the whole life cycle uh, even within the whole life cycle uh, you need to keep a monitor of the test reports and metrics and metrics dashboard how the things are progressing uh, progressing in terms of uh, testing in your project so it is very much important to understand what all reports are supported in testlink and how you can use those reports so if you see in the right hand side once you create the test plan this reporting metrics and metrics dashboard will appear so if you click on test reports and metrics you will see a lot of test reports and metrics available for the test plan different test plan so depending on which test plan you want to uh, fetch these reports for you can select the test plan from the drop down <coughs> and um, because the test plan 2 doesn't have any build defined etc so there is no, no report as of now so we'll go back to the test plan 1 and here you can see you have test plan report test report um, general test plan metrics results by tester per build so all sort of reports and charts are available in uh, in the left hand side so if you go to general uh, test plan metrics it will give you a complete idea of what is the overall build status for that particular build so version 0 0.1 um, uh, Along with that, it will give you the overall top level test suite status. So which, how many test cases are there for the test suite and how many are not run, how many are run and passed along with the percentage. And then it gives the results based on the platform. So for which platform, how many test cases have been executed and also based on the priorities and the keyword. So how many functional test cases and non-functional test cases have been covered as part of the overall progress so this is very very helpful um, and gives you a clear picture where we stand in terms of testing in that particular project um, now you can have results by tester per build so if you have multiple testers in your project uh, it will give you a result per tester what a particular person is doing and what is the workload on uh, that person uh, and how is the progress happening for that particular and you it will it gives you a clear idea whether a particular person is overloaded and you can distribute the load within the um, team then uh, in the test case assignment overview it will show you uh, what is the test case assignment uh, at the moment and test result matrix is also very important and very helpful if you go through the test case metrics you will see all the test case are listed based on the platform and what exactly is the status at the moment so for example for version 0 0.1 what is the status uh, at the moment for each of the test result metrics where we are at how many test cases have passed failed or not run for version 0 0.1 and what is the status for the next version um, in the cycle so and then it gives you the last execution as well so this gives a clear understanding how we are progressing and whether we are on track for releasing the version 0 0.1 or not and if we need to put more effort to finish all these test execution within time to release the software um, the other good matrix is around the failed test cases so if there are failed test cases um, then it, they will be listed here if there are any block test cases they will be listed here if there are any no run test cases they will be uh, listed here there, uh, these test cases are not listed here because we haven't um, we don't have no uh, run test cases 
uh, with any tester assigned so they are not getting listed here but if you have a tester assigned to the test cases and they haven't been um, executed they will be listed here and then test cases without tester assignment chart these are the test cases which haven't been assigned to anyone in the project as of now so this gives a clear picture to the test um, uh, lead to assign these test cases to the user the next uh, good report is the requirements based report if you are interested in fetching the requirement uh, based report you have option for that and then test cases with custom fields um, set on execution test plan with custom field info so the fields that we have defined um, because those fields are not enabled it's giving me an error that um, there are no test cases on this test plan with custom fields enabled on test plan design right but if there are custom fields in the test plan design it will list those uh, the other important uh, aspect is the charts it gives the pie chart and the uh, the graphs uh, based on the keyword and how the progress is happening so this gives uh, the overall the test cases in this test plan how many are passed and how many are not run in terms of chart and this is very helpful if you are sending these reports or some stakeholders are accessing these reports to see the progress um, of the of the project or the test plan then report format can be um, ms word or email um, STML so you can simply change the report format and um, send these reports to the relevant stakeholder as well or uh, the stakeholders can directly come in in the tool and have a look at the report and the progress how the things are progressing in the project so going back uh, these this is all about the reports uh, uh, test reports and metrics and if you go to the metrics dashboard this will give you the overall test progress metrics uh, for the test plan that you're working on uh, on right now so this is a quick uh, sort of report that uh, or the metrics report that gets generated in the test link uh, so we have covered test reports and metrics and metrics dashboard uh, and these reports are very much important when you are working in any test project as a test manager or test lead and even as a tester to give you the details of what all test cases are assigned to you what is the actual progress going on at the moment and uh, how the testing is progressing uh, against the particular release or build so that's pretty much all about the test reports and metrics in test link hope you like the video please do share and subscribe to get more tutorials like this thank you for watching